Good morning, folks. This is Sharon the Rain, and I'm coming to you here from the beautiful Sunshine State in the in the hospital. Um, I just want to say that you know sometimes you plan life out, you know for good things right but then again you know everything doesn't happen the way you wanted it and I don't understand why but that is fine I guess such is life that is life right um, and I want to thank God because it could be a whole lot worse all right I know not too many people you know get admitted in the hospital and get well or get better or hear any good news but i want to thank god that it is not that bad for me i mean i had um i know i'm good all day but at night i feel you know like i sometimes get like a little bit a little bit warm but so they said that's a kind of flu flu symptom that is hard to tell you can't even know because I was getting fever on the inside and no wonder I'm drinking I'm thirsty and I'm drinking a lot of water and they said that was the best thing I did for my body because with the fever on the inside it dries you up and makes you so high dehydrated and um, and my inside was really dry and I think part of it I had like almost six of those bags the small one it's antibiotic and this one here they just put a fresh bag in this I think is in number six or number seven bag if I'm not mistaken all right I think that's the number six or number seven bag my dear. So my inside was so dry and even though I drink a lot of water because I know I'm thirsty not knowing that this fever was in the inside and they said that's um, uh, that's oh, you know that's part of flu they call that that's a flu they have different kinds of flu most of the flu is that people get um, they start coughing and itching and sneezing and sniffling and coughing and coughing. I did not cough at all. I don't have no sniffling, no sneezing, no nothing. Nothing like that. But um, after the fever was going on on the inside, eventually, last Wednesday, I came, to, you know, in front of my husband, I kind of collapsed a little bit. I got kind of weak and... I almost fell and the nurse was taking care, who was in the room, was taking care of my husband, um, grabbed me. So when she grabbed me, she said, oh my gosh, you are burning up. And that's how come they bring me down into the ER. And I got admitted, uh, 102 point something, point two, I believe, temperature. Because they said now after it, I was burning up on the inside, it kind of exploded on the outside. It just came on. My body was so was so hot. The fever was overwhelming. And um, and thank God, you know, they treat me really quick and bring the fever down. And that's why I ended up in the hospital here. So I ended up now. They told me I'm low in potassium in my body because I normally eat fresh oranges and fruits for a few days that I've been here, two nights, three days. I don't know why my potassium, but that's fixable. I'm gonna go home and eat my oranges and my fresh fruits. Not the kind of food. I mean, yeah, the food is good, but see that they give me orange. I, I like my fresh orange juice, my cup of coffee, my <laughs> my milk and what have you. I have a bowl of oats. You name it, my coffee and all of that. So. Yeah, I am not a meat lover. They give me like a meat loaf there. So, folks, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, God has been so good. I'm not going to complain. 
and I'm glad to say that I probably will go home today, yes, because all the symptoms, everything, my fever went down. That's the last bag. Once, I think they said that's the last one. Once that went down, I mean, finished and that's it. I'm out of here. And I just heard um, to my husband got discharged, so. Yay. So folks, I haven't seen my baby since last Wednesday. Um, is it Wednesday or Tuesday? Oh. I don't know where I can't remember all the days now but um, I haven't seen him even though we are in the same hospital but we are on different floors all right he is upstairs one floor higher than me I am one floor lower so we haven't seen each other but we we keep talking to each other this is uh, you know this is the the hospital phone that we we can talk to each other and, and so forth Okay, okay, folks. So again, I want to thank each and every one of you from the depths from the bottom bottom of my heart I can't begin to tell you how much My audience my peeps out there from Facebook Instagram Twitter From here in the US and also international all across the globe. I Can't begin to tell you how much I do appreciate you and how much I do love you that you pray for me and my husband. We are we are very, very grateful. My husband is not a Facebook, he's not a social, he's not on social media. He is <laughs> my husband doesn't uh, participate much on that. So on his behalf, as his wife, I just wanna say thank you from both of us that we do appreciate your prayers so very very much and, um, and again thank you as well for your continued support and prayer for us because you know from last year until now we are going through hell and back in our family because last year June I mean December we lost our sister-in-law um, to cancer so I guess everything it's a rough time it is really a rough time in our family so my we lost our sister allowed to cancer okay folks um, I don't want to cry cry enough I kind of I get very emotional but you know God is good I'm still here nothing wrong with me it's just that it's a flu that I never know about what's going on on the inside of my body but thank God they treated me with the antibiotic they give me all the fluids everything is fine just my potassium is a little bit low which is nothing to worry about the doctor says just go home have your fresh fruits and get your sunshine because I haven't got outside in the sun and you'll be fine so thank you again but this video is to tell you that I am so 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 grateful for each and every one of you who prayed and supported me and my husband both um, my with your prayer okay this is Sharon and rain please hit the bell also subscribe to my channel all right and um, I gotta go because I'm getting very emotional here um, I miss home I miss mama I have um, an aide somebody who's take, taking care of my mom while I'm in here along with one of my brother who comes in and check up on her and make sure everything is going well so again Sharon the rain peace out bye I am going home today. Bye-bye. Peace out. Take care. Bye.